Okay, in my last video, we set up MinGW and GLFW and glue. So in this video, I'm going to be creating a OpenGL project in the MinGW setup. So first thing I'm going to do is open up Eclipse. And for those of you who are coming from Visual Studios, the whole concept of a workspace, is, as far as I can tell, is you can have multiple project files associated with this workspace. So I personally have multiple projects that, that have multiple project files per, so I have different workspaces for different projects. So I'm going to just go ahead and use this one. And uh, while this is loading, let me say I am not an expert. I have been programming for a good number of years, but typically I use Visual Studios, kind of wanting to get away from Microsoft for reasons. So that is part of what drove me to kind of investigate how this works. And I think I said in my last video that you learn most while you teach. So I figure make these videos, learn, help somebody else out who's having trouble. Anyway, so click create a new C++ project. Make sure you select MinGW and give it a name. And finish. Close the welcome screen and here is our project. So the first thing we're going to do is actually, I'm going to uh, pause right here and say I've written a working program using all this. Now one of the things that I had have happen was the glue header file would not compile because it uses a variable type called glcar. Now on Stack Overflow I saw a lot of people were having issues and it was being chalked up to a bad setup. But what happened with me was when I went and looked at the gl header file which, if I understand correctly, is supposed to set, let me open it up so I can illustrate what I'm talking about, is to type def the variable types that are appropriate for whatever operating system you're running on, in this case, Windows. So when I looked at the gl.h, here are all the types, I noticed this one GL car was not among them. So I just added this line and the everything started building just fine after that. So there were a whole bunch of varying uh, suggestions about setup and such. I tried some of them. I couldn't never get any of them to work. This one worked for me. So far I have not found any adverse side effects. Uh, everything seems to be working fine. So if you're having that issue this is the solution I went with. So I just thought I would make that known. Okay, so going back to this, first thing we're going to do is set up our paths for our includes and uh, our libraries, and then set up our libraries. So go to General, Paths and Symbols. And another thing you want to be aware of is make sure to click GNU C++ before you get started. First time I tried to set this up, I had it on assembly and bad time. Nothing wanted to work right and I couldn't figure it out. I kept looking at it and it was like, oh, set GNU C++. Anyway, so click add and I'm going to use the all the folders I set up for my first video. And we're going to be doing glue. Or GLFW, pardon me, getting ahead of myself. <coughs> now glue. And I'm going to add GLM. OK, 
Okay, and then next we're going to come over to Library Paths. Now, again, as a person who came from Visual Studios, my first instinct was to just go to libraries and link them all by path directly. And with uh, MinGW, that is what you want not to do. And I'll explain that here in a minute. So come over here to, to Library Paths. And... Go ahead, do the same thing. And load up. Sorry, I forgot my alphabet for a second. And GLFW. Now the reason you don't want to do something like this is this it will the way that MinGW likes to handle its libraries is it actually truncates off the the prefix lib and the extension. So this is what it wants. If you try and put in the full path, in my experience, it just won't work. It'll say the file's not found. You'll hit yourself uh, in the head repeatedly trying to figure out why it's not finding the path and it's because it's trying to interpret it differently than you're expecting. This is how it wants to take it. It wants to find it, it wants to search through these and find these. Anyway, so while I'm here, I'm also going to mention that the glfw3dll.a is the DLL linked archive. Now, if you built the glfw libraries without the build shared, then what's going to happen is you're going to get the statically linked. Now, I had a lot of issues with the statically linked. In fact, I never got it to work. glfw is a open uh, open source multi-platform handler so when you build it for your operating system it's going to try and get the appropriate library so in this case it wants to work with windows and so it needs to be able to create windows destroy windows basically use the windows sdk so when i tried using the static library it couldn't find references to the create window the destroy windows and on Stack Overflow, everybody was saying that what you need to do is actually install GDI, the GDI32 lab, which makes sense because this is the library that actually includes the Windows specific um, calls. But that never worked for me. Um, I did find one mention of somebody actually using the DLL, and so I built the DLL. I demonstrated that in my last video and I find this works pretty well the only thing is you have to make sure to copy that DLL to a common location and I've had good experience so if you want to try and get the static library working you need to include the GDI and if you still can't get it working like me then you can use the the, D, uh, the DLL library so that being said so we're gonna add the Glue32 library, and we're going to add the OpenGL32 library. <coughs> so, now there was another thread. I've been doing a lot of searching on Stack Overflow, and some people were having issues that were being attributed to the libraries not being in the correct order. Now, there is a control here to, to change the build order, so I can't imagine that there, that the order doesn't have something to do with the build, but I haven't personally had any issues with it. But if you do have issues, you might want to play with the order. But, like I said, I haven't had those problems myself. So now we've got the include set up, got the library set up, we've got the paths set up. Now notice we only have them set up for the debug, so if you want to have them for both the release and the debug, you have to set it up twice. 
So be cognizant of that. I've had a lot of issues where I had a setting in the wrong place and my libraries and includes were not being applied. So I can go ahead and hit apply. All right. So now that that's all set up, I'm going to create a oops. Let's see. New file. Okay. And go ahead and oops, And for this one, I'm just going to use the GLFW to get started because all I'm trying to do is show the setup for the project. And I have recently discovered the trailing return type with C++ and I've been doing a lot of Swift programming lately so I like it. It kind of keeps everything on a common scheme for me. So. Now I haven't run the build yet which is why it's going to have some issues here because those settings haven't taken place and that's what that uh, oops oh. Important safety tip for those people coming from Visual C++ or uh, Visual Studios, pardon me. You run the build, notice that the file isn't saved. So if you find yourself making changes, trying to build it, and nothing's being applied, make sure that you click the save button before you hit your build button. And you'll see now everything builds fine. Now I'm going to say this um, also. If you went with the DLL build on the archive file, be sure to define the GLFW DLL. I had an issue where I was trying to build my project and it was having a whole bunch of reference errors in the GLFW header. And this has to be added if you used the DLL linked build. So, very important. And I'm going to go ahead and make a call to the GLFW init. And I'm not going to do anything else with it, just to demonstrate that this is set up correctly because we can call that file. Oops. Again, forgot to save. Very spoiled. And I acknowledge that. All right. So, our setup is good. We can call the reference. Now I'm going to hold off on using the glue for my next video where I'm actually going to draw something. This was just about project setup. So any questions or comments or especially corrections, I really would love some correction where needed. I've had more than a few issues. Uh, please comment down below. Thank you.